Welcome to episode 43 of the New England Gal Knits podcast. I am a Janet and you can find me on Instagram at the New England Gal and you can find my hand eyes yarn and my project bags at Woolen Lights on Etsy. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to the podcast. I hope you enjoy it. I have quite a bit of things to share with you today. I actually have two finished objects. One you guys haven't seen at all. It was a start and a finish all at once. I have a half finished object. I have several whips, quite a bit of whips. I have a finished cross stitch. I have three cross stitch whips. Um, so have a seat, pour a drink. I've got a rosé um, poured for myself. It is a Friday. It's February 12th and I actually have a long weekend. So it's President's Day on Monday. However, the boys are off from school next week. Not that we are doing anything because thank you COVID, but I took Monday and Tuesday off to be with them and my husband has Monday off. So it'll be nice to be home, all four of us to relax for an extra day this weekend. And then I have another day off to relax before I have to get back to work. So anyways, let me go ahead and start with one of my finished objects. So the first finished object I have is a pair of uh, worsted weight socks. So these are knit out of, they're just a plain vanilla sock knit out of piece fleece in the rabbit gray colorway. I don't have, I don't think I have the tag anymore. So here they are. I have to say I was getting nervous because that is all I have left. I was afraid on the second sock that I was going to have to pull out a different color um, to finish up the toes, but I made it barely, um, but it's perfect. I don't like having a lot of leftover yarn and it's nice to have a project that basically uses it all up. So these, like I said, are just a pair of basic vanilla socks. I cast on 40 stitches, did two by two ribbing for 10 rows. 40 rows down, did my heel flap and gusset, and then just a knit on the foot and did a just, I don't even know what that, toe, I use one specific toe decrease all the time just because it fits my foot so well. So anyways, that is my first finished object. My second finished object would be, surprise, surprise, a, another pair of worsted weight socks because I've been addicted to them. I was watching um, Taylor Earl from Fiber for the People. She's been podcasting recently. I love her podcast and she's been doing vlogs too and been really enjoying those voiceover vlogs. Um, it's been really enjoyable, but she had knit um, a pair of Sunday socks by Petite Knitter and was working on a second pair. So I saw them and I love them. So I decided to cast them on and I have, it looks so funny when it's not on a sock blocker, but I have a finished pair of them. These are knit out of Knit Picks Tweed. And unfortunately, I think I mentioned in my last podcast, I'm just quickly looking around. I don't have it. My husband, I've been leaving ball bands everywhere and my husband just tosses them at this point. Um, so I had two um, skeins of the Knit Picks tweed, um, Will of the Andes tweed, and basically used it up. I had to switch to a Patton's worsted uh, for the toe in the cream color. Love the way they came out, super chunky, really, really, as I'm gonna get, ta-da! Really long leg, so you can fold it over. Um, And fold it over and have a cute little um, sock. They'll, I think they're going to be great and super cozy and warm with a pair of leggings, especially here in New England. March for me is a tough month because it's still cold. It's still gray. It, um, I hear a child coming up the stairs. There he is bringing up 
bringing up a plate, empty plate that had food on it earlier. Um, but anyways, March is just cold. It's raw. It's damn. It's gray most of the time. The sun's not out that much. So this will be perfect. On top of that, we have gotten a ton of snow a ton of snow so I'll get into that when I talk about updates but um, we had we probably have after the three storms um, over the last two weeks we, we probably have about 20 inches on the ground um, so definitely nice cozy warm socks are needed so that is it for my finished knitting objects um, let me move on over to my works in progress um let me i'm gonna put so my half finished object is another pair of worsted socks um probably at this point not a surprise and i'm gonna get them on the sock locker we'll get there there we go so here is the half finished object. So these are the coziest socks. I don't even know where the knitting pattern is. I think I've been working on them in bed, so it might be on my nightstand, but these are a pattern by Ozette and I have finished the first sock and have not too much done on the second sock. This is being knit I talked about last week I messed up and this is being knit on bulky weight and not worsted which the pattern called for um and it is valley yarns in the Berkshire bulky yarn and again not sure where the ball bands are but everything I have notes um all my show notes down below in the description box so you can check it out it will be there so that is what I have so far. I have tried these on and they fit. They are super thick and dense. Um, they are going to be super warm. They're a little bit tight, but I figure with blocking, it'll loosen them and relax them a little bit and they'll end up fitting just fine. So hopefully I can whip this one out in no time because honestly, worsted weight socks just fly right off the needles. Um, so I think I'm going to continue with socks and I'm going to start with what I keep in my purse and this is the project bag and this is a project bag. Oh, I have fuzz on it. Problem with a glitter project bags. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, so this is just a project bag I made. I really wish, I don't know, I'm trying to see. Um, it has an opalescent to the top part as well. So there's a little bit of sparkle throughout the whole entire bag. But I have this in my purse. And even though I haven't, I don't go anywhere anymore, We've had a lot of vet appointments and we're not allowed in the vet uh, vet's office. We have to sit in the car while they do the appointment with um, Lego. So I, um, this is what I've been knitting on while sitting in my car. So this is a pair of socks and they're all twisted. Here we go. And so I am, here is the yarn. That gonna focus. I hope it's not too blown out. The other ones weren't. So this is being knit out of once upon not once upon a corgi. She used to be once upon a corgi. It is plies and hellhounds on her Mary Cutie base, and that's a 75% superwash Coradale, 25% nylon, and the color is England Times. And here is what I have so far. So I am doing the vanilla latte pattern. Um, I love this pattern. 
the way the ribbing is done on it is it just fits my leg so well. Can't tell if that's focused. I'm hoping it is. Still playing around with my new lighting and my new camera, so hopefully that's coming in. Um, so anyways, I have this much done of one sock and I have just finished the ribbing on the other sock. So this will go back into my purse because we have another vet appointment on Wednesday. So I will need something while waiting on him. Um, so my last sock work in progress, I, I need a little bit of color. So I kind of went through what I had and I actually pulled out one of my yarns. So this is Wool and Whites. Is that blowing out? There we go. Um, so this is on my uh, Coradale nylon base, which is 7525 in the Santorini colorway. And I'm hoping that's not blowing out too much. That is what I have so far. And I am knitting the seals by the Blue Mouse. Um, and this is a free pattern on Ravelry. So that is what I have so far. I am all of my size nine, my US one size nine needles are all occupied, which means I really should start getting them, getting some other socks off, which is why I'm doing the magic loop with this. But that is what I have so far. And here is, is this getting blown out in my, be blown out a little bit. Look at, does this happen to anybody else? So I was halfway through winding this cake and it flew off my ball winder and it is now an absolute mess. And then I had to just hand wind it. I could have easily put it back on the ball winder and wound it up into a Anita cake, but I was just impatient. So anyways, that is my last sock whip. And then I'm going to, I can see my video is gonna shut off in a few seconds. So I'm going to reset the video and then I'll talk about the sweater I've been working on. All right, so the sweater, that I have been working on is the Lodge sweater. And this is by Ozetta. And I think I mentioned this last time. This is the sweater of my dreams. It has the split hem. It has big baggy cuffed shoulders. It, not shoulders, cuffs. The sleeves are baggy. It's a drop. Um, shoulder, which I've been really enjoying and I feel is very flattering on a lot of bodies. And it has a turtleneck, which you can't really see in there, but it is everything I have been loving in a sweater. So I haven't gotten as far as I would have liked to on this. Um, and I'll explain why in a little bit, but let me show you where I am. So it is knit from the bottom up. So here is what I have so far. So I did, it has a split hem. So I knit both sides. I've connected them. I don't know how well you can see. I love the way she has, um, you connect them. Sometimes with the split hems, I get a really long piece of yarn in between. It's not a good tight, um, fit in the way she has you connect these. I really like the way it looks and the way it um, came out. So I've connected it. Now it's just a knitting up, up, up and around. So the reason I haven't gotten as far as I would have liked to is that I am knitting these on my Leica, Leica needles. I can never remember how to say it. 
I like these needles. I normally don't have an issue with them, but the yarn that I'm using, and I am using, see if that focuses here, the Ozetta yarn. This is her cabin colorway. It's a Colombian wool, so it's a little bit toothy, and I find that it's not sliding off of the wood needles like it would with the, um, like it would with a pair of metal needles. So like any respectable <laughs> knitter, what did I do? Well, number one, I cannot find my size eight tips to my chow goo interchangeable needles. I have checked every single work in progress I have. They're not there. I don't know where they are. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, it would have made sense just to order new tips. Mm -mm. I just ordered oh, a, a whole fixed needle, size 8 needle, and then after I ordered it, I'm like, why did I do that and not just order the tips? Blonde moment, I guess. I, I have been having a lot of those lately, but that's what I have so far, and hopefully my needles will come in this week and I can just fly along on this body. So I'm hoping to have a lot more progress on this done next time I talk to you guys. So that is it for all of the knitting contact content. I can't talk. I was gonna say I can't talk recently, but we go through this every single podcast. I just can't pronounce things. I can't talk. It's okay. So that is all I have for all of the knitting content. So the rest is cross stitch and then just the life update. All right, and now on to cross stitching. So I do have a fully finished object um, to share. And it's, I had mentioned, I'm gonna bend over and grab it because it's just kind of on the floor. It was too big to put on my desk. So I had shown it mostly finished last time and I had said I wanted to get it finished. And I did. I framed it myself. So when I show this to you, it's crooked. It was not, I should have probably gone with a smaller frame, but then I was afraid it would have cut off the stitching. So anyways, let me show you. So this is the Hope cross stitch. And this is a freebie from, um, hello from Liz Matthews. And it's a freebie if you sign up for her uh, newsletter. So I finished this. I started this on inauguration day. I figured hope was the perfect thing to do on inauguration day. And I had gotten some thread by color and cotton and, um, knew I wanted to cross it something with that. So I saw this pattern and thought it would be perfect. So hers, is just all one color. I ended up doing it in three different colors. And um, I do love the way it came out. Like I said, it's crooked, it's not perfect, uh, but that's okay. And I am gonna, I'm gonna hang it up in the bedroom. Um, I'm trying to get better at finishing cross stitches, so. I've recently become addicted to floss tube. I, in about September, had gotten a, in my suggested YouTube uh, area, uh, a floss tube Elizabeth Ann can stitch. And I'll link her YouTube down below. She is amazing. She's so funny, so nice, like just bubbly and happy. She's so fun to watch her projects are stunning. She's a, a really, really fast cross stitcher. She stitches in hand. I stitch in a, a hoop. I would like to try cross stitching in hand. Um, I've tested it a few times and my stitches just don't come out as even as they do when I stitch in a hoop, but addicted to her and she does some finishing videos. Uh, she's also a quilter and beautiful quilts. And it just opened me up to floss tube. I always knew it was there, but I had never really watched it before. And um, between that and my knitting podcast, I just can't keep up. There's way too much to watch, uh, but it's good. It keeps me busy. And when I don't want to deal with my husband or my children, 
I um, can put on some headphones and watch some wonderful ladies and men. Um, oh my god, I, sorry, completely now sidetracked, but I watched the first podcast by Max and Vincent, Les Garçons. Is it Les Garçons? I can't remember. Oh my god. I, I, most people know who Vincent and Max are. Um, god, I love their podcast. Anyways, done with my sidetrack. So, so with my finished object, like I said, that was uh, by Hello from Liz Matthews, a freebie if you sign up for her newsletter and she's doing, I think a free freebie every month. So February's came out and here it is. It's a little pillow with always and an arrow. Um, and Snape, Harry Potter, always that word. I love it. And then the arrow, I love arrows, something. Hmm don't think my mother watches this but i would like to get an arrow tattoo remind myself to always look forward you can't can't move forward if you're looking backwards so anyways i started stitching that so i grabbed i had a 32 count i think it's smoky white linen um and of course it's getting a little blown out but this is what i have so far on it and um, I am using floss because I didn't have the call for floss, so I am using Jaybird. Um, I love, I don't know how I can see it, but I love the variegation in this. Um, it has, anyways, it looks um, really nice. There's a lot of depth to it. So I am going to make this into a pillow. I did order some blue velvet for backing. So I'm hoping, it's so hard to tell online if something's going to match. The colors don't always come out correctly, you know, and as someone who has to photograph her yarn in project bags, it's difficult to get a true representation of colors so i'm hoping it'll match or at least be close enough you can't really tell so that is what i have so far i would have had this finished as well except for i got distracted so these are all actually free um cross stitch patterns online so i'll have them all linked below but i saw this pattern and this is a freebie by Pinker and Pumpkin. Pumpkin I think? It's P-U-N-K-I-N. Um, it's She has a lot of great free, freebies on her blog and so I'll link that below but here is so I am knitting this on a 32 count linen actually let me grab should have had this up so this is there we go the brand of the linen and it's in natural is the color and here is what I have so far so I have changed every single color <laughs> in this pattern because I had none of the called for colors so I kind of went through what I had and I did um my initials so this one has her initials on it and it is the pattern is written for these particular ones so I kind of mapped out my own initials so I could put them there so I am done the side of the house um, I have the tree and all the top white snowflakes. I'm hoping it looks like it's blowing out in my mirror. I'm hoping it won't be too bad when I edit it. But that is what I have done on that one. And then I was watching Java Girl Stitch, I think. I'll link her um, YouTube channel down below, but she had 
um, stitch this and this is a free design by hands on design on her blog and I saw her last night her YouTube video last night and saw this and I'm like oh I wonder if I can get that done for Valentine's Day on Sunday we're not big Valentine's Day celebrators here we just never have been my birthdays at the beginning of February and we do a celebration then and then it just seems like a couple days later is Valentine's Day so um anyways I started this this morning so this is really blowing out there we go that is what I have so far so I am almost on the border I would be done the border if I could count properly however on the top here twice I added in an extra stitch so the borders weren't lining up over here they will now I would have had the border done in the center started except for the fact that um, I can't count it's a wonder I do cross count <laughs> cross stitch so what the uh, floss that I'm using for this is the peachy color for the border I am using classic color works in the um, blushing beauty and then for the inside with the arrows and the letters for love I am doing this one and this is ladybug by classic color works so uh, that is what I have so as soon as I'm done filming this I'll get this back in the hoop and work some more on this tonight I'd like to my plan is to make this one a pillow as well and I know she had this one finished as a pillow but I don't know if I want it on a pillow or if I want I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet I need to so Java Girl Stitches and then there's um the Real Housewives of Stitching have the most amazing finishes I just don't think I have the patience or the talent to do that um well, the creativity, There's, they put in a lot of creative, great ideas. Um, and, you know, sometimes a pillow or putting it in a frame is my best bet. So that is all the crafting I have this, um, this week. And, which is actually qu quite a bit. I, I have accomplished quite a lot and I'm actually surprised and proud of myself and in two weeks when I see you guys again I will probably not have nearly <laughs> as many things to show you but that's okay I do it because I enjoy it not um, not because I just want things out of it so as far as what I've been doing um, Lego had his surgery so he was supposed to have his surgery actually on my birthday so February 2nd Groundhog's Day uh, however we had a nor'easter there were parts of Massachusetts that saw blizzard um, rate wind it was extremely windy we got 15 inches of snow that day so between that Monday and Tuesday so his surgery was postponed to Wednesday of that week so it's been about a week and a half he's he's doing good he went in to get one tooth taken out and ended up with three taken out but that's okay it's good it's um, he's doing really really well um, the first few days was a little bit rough and he is my baby I I was saying to my husband so our older son when he was in kindergarten had his tonsils taken out and it was rough it was rough he didn't sleep well it was actually my older son it's when he got into hockey because it was the Stanley Cup finals the Bruins Boston Bruins were in the finals and he stayed up actually then won the Stanley Cup that year um, so he stayed up with my husband and watched all the games um, during it and he was miserable but you know you could talk to him you could comfort him he understood what you were saying and with the dog poor Lego just wasn't understanding we um, 
we dropped him off and um, when I went to pick him up it was like he wouldn't look at me for a good few hours um, so but again he is doing better he has this coming Wednesday his two-week checkup so hopefully everything will be good he'll get the clear we'll get the clear to go back on his regular food but seeing I've been feeding him chicken and rice and for treats I've been mashing up bananas mixing it with peanut butter and yogurt he's not gonna want to go back to dog food I may have created a monster we'll see how that goes um, as for what I've been watching, so somebody last um, podcast recommended The Dig, to the movie The Dig to me, and I watched it. I loved it. I don't think she, uh, she wouldn't have realized. I am a huge documentary fanatic, and I love archaeology. I especially love learning about the history of England and the digs and so the dig is about the archaeological find at Sutton Hoo and I had about four weeks ago heard for the first time Sutton Hoo the British Museum um, has some YouTube videos out and they have curators corner and one of the curators was talking about the sword that was found at Sutton Hoo and then there's another one with the helmet that's found at Sutton Hoo and basically Sutton Hoo is a burial for the Anglo-Saxons so they were see history I love watching these things but history was never my strong suit because memorizing dates and peoples and I'm not very good at it but I believe I know Anglo-Saxons were before the Vikings I believe they were after the Romans had entered England and then left. I think they were that time period in between. Um, so it was um, burial grounds found. So anyways, um, Ralph Fiennes, I don't pay attention to actors and actresses. Um, I think it was Ralph Fiennes. Whoever plays Voldemort, because I made the joke to my son, said that's Voldemort with a nose. Um, was in it. It was a great movie. I really, really enjoyed it and good and family friendly. Um, so I watched that. I um, have been addicted to a YouTube channel and I'll mark it down below um, or list it down below. Uh, but it is um, Cecilia and um, she lives in Schwalzbard. I don't know if I said it right, but it is the northernmost inhabited town in the world. So it is the closest habit. It's the closest town to the North Pole. And I find her fascinating. So I've been binge watching all her videos, you know, and oh, it's beautiful up there. The northern lights are amazing. Um, she did some videoing during the midnight sun which I just can't imagine what it's like to live in 24 hour daylight. I know my parents one time, um, they did a cruise up to Alaska in September and they were walking around at 11 p.m. And they're like, why is nobody on the streets? They had no idea what time it is. Um, I mean, it must take a while for your body to get used to that, but I've been, binge watching I went back and I've watched all of her videos um she's it's it's really fascinating and the landscape is beautiful and she lives in this cabin um there's electricity but no plumbing so she kind of shows how you know they wash their dishes and they they burn their poop <laughs> um it's very interesting and she has the cutest dog Grim and I can't remember what breed he is, but it almost, it's not a Malamute, but it looks like a Malamute. It's huge and fluffy and he's sweet. Um, making sure my dog's not giving me the dirty look at calling another dog sweet and cute. So anyways, I've been watching that. Um, other than that, there hasn't been anything going on. Like I said, I had my birthday. Um, however, thank you COVID. We didn't do anything, but that's okay. Um, I'm an introvert. Uh, it was funny. I, I follow somebody on Instagram and they posted something basically in the lines of, I don't actually want to go anywhere, but I want to choose 
not to go anywhere. <laughs> And that's exactly how I feel at this point. I don't actually want to do things, but I want to be able to not make the choice to not do things. Um, but yeah, I'm, that's that's about it. I'm the long weekend. I'm planning on knitting and cross stitching, and hopefully um, getting some things done. I'm really hoping the needle for my lodge sweater comes in this week, and I can get going on that. But that's basically it. I'm going to sit, relax, sip on my rosé, and do some cross-stitching on the Valentine's Day cross-stitch, see if I can get that done for Sunday. Well, I hope all of you guys have a wonderful two weeks. I hope you all stay, stay, stay safe, and happy knitting, happy crocheting. Bye.